Hong Kong's chief executive, Carrie Lam, says the city's financial system remains stable and has not been undermined by months of protests. Mrs. Lam has told a regional financial forum it's all thanks to lessons learned since the Asian financial crisis. She's acknowledged that the past two years have been challenging thanks to the global economic downturn, the U.S.-China trade war and the protests against her government. But she's praised Hong Kong's resilience as a global financial hub, as Roland Lim reports. Now the theme for this year's Asian financial forum is redefining growth breakthroughs, innovation, and inclusiveness. This, of course, speaks about the uncertain global climate at this stage, where there is a certain amount of pessimism about the global economy. That and fears of unstable supply chains, as well as uh, burgeoning corporate debt and volatile capital flows, all making investors concerned about where global growth is headed. The forum, organized by the Hong Kong government and the Trade Development Council, gathered more than 100 financial experts to brainstorm over the global economic landscape. Chief Executive Carrie Lam said that the financial system in Hong Kong remained stable, despite trade disputes between China and the U.S. and political challenges in the city. Mrs. Lam cited Hong Kong's common law system, low tax rates and its links with the mainland as major strengths as a financial center. Our core competitiveness and our status as one of the world's premier financial centers continues to be internationally recognized. Last September, we again ranked third in the world in the Global Financial Centers Index, just behind New York and London. That's a compelling statement of confidence. The head of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Qin Li Qian, stressed three guiding principles for the AIIB, lean, clean, and green. The Development Bank is making sure that it's free of corruption and fraud as well as promoting a green economy. Established by China to support the building of infrastructure in the Asia-Pacific region, it's already planning to invest in six projects in ASEAN, totaling more than a billion U.S. dollars. And Chief Executive Carrie Lam was also bullish about prospects for Hong Kong, saying that her administration is confident about bridging the political divide as well as reuniting society as a whole, despite the seven months of ongoing protests now, in order to improve the economy going forward. Remember, Hong Kong currently in a technical recession. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.